Army mateys, it's time to be looking at some piratey ships then. Haha, this is I oh, sorry, this be the cutlass. Okay, uh, enough of the bad pirate accent. So yes, the Drake Interplanetary Cutlass. Now um Drake doesn't make pirate ships, at least that's what they keep on insisting. Um they do however manufacture very affordable ships that uh, may or may not have been used for nefarious purposes in the past and the cutlass is probably foremost amongst those so um, it's got a big ship it uh, is multi-crew capable, it has lots of cargo space and it's got all the fittings and trimmings necessary for you to do some uh, shall we say serious salvage work how uh, exactly what you are salvaging and whether or not that salvage is legal is entirely your business so uh, I just love the detailing on these engines uh, these engine pods on the wings of course can rotate which means the cutlass has some very interesting handling characteristics uh, your roll for instance should be very very quick because the engines can engine pods can rotate and fire in opposite directions but we'll have a look at that once we take off so ah, the ramp is invitingly down once again let's run up here maybe I should remember to close it this time before I take off with an open ramp again so this would be I'm guessing the cargo area there's a lot of space in here uh, is that the loo? oh my it's the first uh, documented instance of an actual space toilet <laughs> I'm sitting down on a space potty <laughs> oh my word I have still got my pants on though alright let's get up uh, I don't want to draw out that embarrassing moment any longer than it needs to be alright so it's, uh, very interesting looking cargo door at the bottom um, good vantage point for surprising cargo vessels from an unexpected angle to legitimately um, ship cargo across of course and why else would you want to do that right let's see where's the... Oh, here we go I think this would be the... what did I just do? oh Alright, this is a fold out chair. Huh. Uh, it's not helping. Um, I thought this was the, uh, the door handle. Clearly it isn't. Hmm, okay. There's another one, I take it. The door handle must be over here somewhere then. That would be it. Alright, excellent. Here we are. You can see the inside of this looks a little bit more worn and uh, rusty and. Uh, quite as uh, shiny and finished as some of the other ships so oh, here's another I think I can enter ah I think I might just have activated the turret indeed I have whoop might as well have a look at it while we're at it so ah here we are sitting inside the turret so one of my crewmates can man this while I'm busy flying the ship. Keep those nasty uh, police patrols at bay. Alright, uh, let's walk back to the front here and get into the pilot seat. Oh, it's narrow and cramped up front. Why, thank you. That, um, on the right hand side, if I look over in that direction, is the famous uh, desk fan, or cockpit fan, or whatever fan. The Cutlass's biggest fan. Haha. <laughs> right, a nice old school radar. And also 
pretty decent view from the inside. So uh, let's take off and see what this Launch baby handles like. Complete. Landing gear up. There we are. So zoom out a little. Get some forward thrust going here. And now you can see it's got these two interesting pivoting thrusters in the midline of the ship as well. Now, if I start, um, will it do it? If I roll, apparently it doesn't quite yet. What if I do some pitch maneuvers? Hmm. The engine pods do not seem to be swiveling the way I thought they would just yet. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to unlock them or something, but whatever. So, they're supposed to be able to rotate. It was in the... Ah, oh, there we are! I just managed it. I have no idea how I did that. So we won't sue Drake for false advertising just yet. Yeah, the whole ship's got sort of a wicked metallic sheen to it. Um, it just looks dangerous. doesn't look like something a law-abiding citizen would fly. So, uh, if pirating is going to be your thing, then uh, the cutlass over here might just be the ship for you, matey. Ah, sucker punch cannons again. Uh, taking down shields. Because obviously you want to um, disable your prey, not destroy him, because there's not much to salvage after you've blown the guy up now, is there? Alright. That is the cutlass. Right, enough of the small fry and on to some big stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the MISC Freelancer. MISC of course stands for Musashi Industrial Starflight Concern. Um, company that apparently has its roots in old Japan, I think, with a name like Musashi it has to be. Interestingly enough, the Freelancer apparently has some alien tech in it. Um, these aliens being the mysterious Jian species, who we just refer to as the space turtles. So uh, even the ship has a bit of a turtleish reptilian look to it. I don't know exactly where they've incorporated said alien tech, but uh, it certainly is a different looking ship. So uh, the Freelancer is one of the most popular and also one of the most controversial ships um, that's been designed for the game. It has a very storied and a bit of a chicken history. It was uh, the design, the exterior design was uh, picked um, by popular vote. So they had two concepts for the Freelancer and decided to put it to the vote. This is the design that eventually won out. It's undergone a number of changes and revisions. Um, when you get inside you'll see that uh, that flight deck up there is one area that's been of particular concern. Um, because it doesn't have a lot of view room, but in any case, so it, I think it's a properly interesting looking ship. Um, it's definitely what you would call a multi crew vessel, it falls into the bigger class of ships that can be crewed by multiple people. Ooh, some nice looking missiles on the wings here. Uh, so let's have a run inside ramp again, let's remember to hit the button and close it. Oh, just look at that. That is gorgeous. Now look at the inside of this. Now the Freelancer has undergone a big interior revamp. Uh, the level of detail in here is brilliant. So this would be the main cargo area. Lots of space for packing your crates of miscellaneous items. Let's run ahead. Ah, auto opening doors. That's very polite. There's a middle area. Oh, some texture clipping issues there, but that's okay. Uh, docking ring up there, so that would be for docking with other ships. Let's run through this airlock. Uh, here we have uh, what appears to be a crew area, so there's some sleeping bunks over here, and they double as escape pods. That's very convenient. Here's another airlock. It goes to the outside. So, over here should be the flight deck. So this is now not a cockpit anymore. This is a proper flight deck that has two 
pilot chairs. A pilot and a co-pilot. As well as a crew station. Let's quickly sit down on one of the crew stations because I don't actually know what you do back here. Alright, here we are. So, once again, it says system unavailable, but this looks like it uh, could be for shield or power um, adjustments. There's another crew station over here which would probably have a similar function. So, this ship can be crewed up front by up to four people. So, you and your buddies can have a nice playthrough together. Pilot, co pilot. Um, one guy on engineering and uh, well, I don't know, maybe this guy could fire the torpedoes Mr. Wolf or something like that so um, let's sit down in the pilot seat nice yeah, oh, now I know where the alien tech's been incorporated that sounds like a ninja turtle with a bad throat condition so yes, um, oh, just look at these view screens. Some of the uh, more modern UI designs that are starting to seep through here. Some of the older ships uh, are in need of a rework, but uh, you can definitely see some of the later UI elements being incorporated in this ship. Look at that. I can actually zoom into the screen a little bit. Oh, tarantula. That's. Uh, uh, deadly looking weapons load out over there so yeah there's not a lot of viewing room from this uh, main screen as you can see but um, we're not going to let that stop us or maybe it will because I can't see where I'm going <laughs> oh well I suppose it's similar to flying a modern passenger aircraft so it's not a huge amount of viewing room but anyway, let's have a look at the Lancer from the outside, shall we? And here she is. It's a lovely looking ship, all shiny. You can definitely feel the, the weight as I maneuver it. It's definitely not something that you would categorize as a agile fighter type craft. Uh, this would be perfect for cargo runs though, lots of space and uh, a surprising amount of firepower for a cargo ship look at that it's wicked main guns on this thing so pirates beware, the launcher means business here's me sitting on the flight deck and me trying to see out the window again so yeah, this um, I know has been a dream ship for a lot of people, the kind of uh, gameplay that Star Citizen promises that is quite unique, the multi-crew experience. A lot of people are looking forward to that. Um, I'd like to give it a try at some point, see what it's like to crew a ship like this along with a few friends. So, uh, yeah. yeah, me and the Lancer may be seeing more of each other in the future. Alright, let's see how our next candidate is. Hmm. Ah! What the hell is that? The aliens are invading! Oh, ooh, captured Vandal Scythe, what a relief. Right, yes. Uh, this is the feared enemy craft. Proper treat to be able to have a look at one of these up close. So, uh, in the Arena Commander video where Darth Bean and I were scattering enemy ship pieces all over the show. This was the unfortunate victim. The Vandal Scythe. Uh, it's also one of the first ships to be revealed. It was in the original Squadron 42 trailer which uh, launched I think it was late 2012. Uh, the ship's gone a little, undergone a lot of rework since then and it just looks fabulous. The detail on this thing is incredible. It's uh, Harkens back to the old Kilrathi fighters from Wing Commander. Is the the Wing Commander references again? This thing actually has a ramming blade on the side. This thing has only one purpose, and that's to tear through enemy ships. How cool is that? See, so yeah, this entire ship looks like a cutting weapon. 
Even my HUD has gone all red and angry. Oh, just magnificent. So yeah, the law behind why the ship is flyable is that apparently a Vandal carrier was found drifting around with uh, 300 of these puppies just sitting around waiting to be salvaged and this apparently is one of them. So 300 lucky folks in the verse are flying around with these guys but this being free fly week um, I get to try it out so oh -ho! let's get inside and see what it's like to fly Alright, so you're not supposed to lie down on the job, but to this ship, apparently you do. It looks ominous, it looks like it's something out of a proper scary sci-fi movie. Let's look around inside. So yes, I'm actually lying down. I don't know how the Vandal will fly these things from this position, but uh, I s suppose it's more comfortable for their species or something. Not sure how that works, so asymmetrical in design, it's got the big wing on the one side but not on the other. I don't know how that makes sense, but uh, okay, well if that's how they want to build. Um, eight foot tall aliens with sharp claws. Uh, you probably shouldn't be criticizing their design decisions too much. Okay, switch to external view and let's get this puppy off the landing pad. Ah, wah, out flows and folds the wing. Mm, dangerous. It's fast as well. Oh, this thing handles beautifully. Ah, every time I hear that sound, I just want to run because it's normally the last thing I hear before I blow up while playing Arena Commander. Massive, massive fire behind these weapons. Let's do a quick external view. So I switch to this one. Just look at this thing. Oh, isn't it wicked? It's big too. Like I mentioned, the Vandal are quite tall guys apparently. So uh, this is what you fly if you're an eight foot tall alien bent on galactic domination. give you nightmares. It handles really really well for such a big ungainly looking thing. Oh getting some dangerously antisocial tendencies right now. I think I'd better get out before this thing corrupts me any further. That is the Vandul Scythe. <laughs> Alright, here we are again on the launch pad at Port Odyssey. And uh, for this sign off video, I um, thought I'd save something a little extra special. There's a lot of traffic overhead, people seem to be keen to test out all of these various ships that they normally can't fly, as I've been doing. So, um, anywho, you've seen uh, my trusty Aurora space brick. Uh, so for this bit I thought I'd introduce you to the Aurora's big brother. And I do mean big brother. Meet the RSI constellation. I actually have to stand back a bit to get a proper perspective on this thing. Uh, original spec from what I recall, uh, the Aurora was, uh, the constellation was around 55 meters long. I think it may have grown since then. It's probably closer to 70 meters or so now. Either way, it is just a magnificent ship. So this um, is the biggest of the currently flyable ships, as far as I'm aware. And uh, 
real beauty so over here as I mentioned when we're doing the Merlin video here's where the little Merlin snub fighter sits there you can see it very clearly clinging to big mama like a parasite let's have a walk around here look at the size of this thing it is just huge hugely powerful and impressive looking the constellation is the pilot craft for a lot of the multi crew mechanisms in the game, so the ship's been reworked a couple of times to uh, introduce some new gameplay features. Um, it's a personal favorite of uh, Chris Roberts, the brain behind Star Citizen. Oh. Some more traffic flying past. Um, this is one of the first ships that uh, was concepted for the game. And um, yeah, the brief was give me something iconic. So <laughs> quite uh, yeah, big demand um, for an artist to try and fulfil. But I think they've nailed it. Um, it's just a lovely looking spaceship, and when we get her off the landing pad, um, I think we'll get a better idea of how sleek this thing is. So this is probably one of my favorite ways of entering any of the ships let's push the elevator button yep there we go onto the pad we get and in we are Space Industries logo over there, so this looks like a little lounge area where you and your mates can sit and relax. Oh, stuff exploding outside. Sleeping berths, by the looks of it. If I run through here, this would be the main cargo area, so lots of storage space. Actually got some walkways here on the side. Ooh, I haven't been here before. This I think is a yeah, it's an airlock. Ah, these I think are the constellations missile launchers which fold out. Um, so a lot of the ammunition is stored internally. That's a lot of ordnance over there. Not a ship to be trifled with this. The gravity generator. Mm, so yeah, this being a multi crew ship, uh, this ship will have its own gravity well or gravity generator so even if you're outside in space you won't have to float around inside this thing in your spacesuit there will be artificial gravity being generated oh there's even more space back here this thing is big it's just huge here's uh, where you enter the little moon and snub fighter so if i walk over here i should probably get a use prompt there we are um, but I'm not going to get into the Merlin right now, you've already seen what it looks like. I want to move forward a little bit, so whoop, here we are inside the cargo area. Big internal volume for you to store things. The level of detail that goes into these things is just phenomenal. Let's quickly climb up the ladder again. See if I can get back to the front area. I want to fly this puppy. And here we are. So these, uh, haha, this is a nod to the Millennium Falcon. Um, it's been said several times that the constellation is sort of the falcon of uh, the Star Citizen universe. Um, nice big freighter class ship with uh, space for lots of people, lots of cargo, and um, it's even got the classic upper and lower turrets as you get in uh, in the Falcon in Star Wars so climbing down into one of these, oh, I think let's do it quickly shall we mm. very nice I can spin around and deal some serious damage to Whoever happens to be chasing us. Pull the guns down and up. Of course, I'm still in the Crusader Armistice zone here, so I won't be able to fire these weapons, but um, 
Yeah. Looks like being a uh, turret gunner has a lot of potential. Let's get back up again. And now, uh, on to the flight deck. Where is the flight deck? Here we go. And this is a proper flight deck. Look at that. Three chairs side by side. These once again are crew stations, so Ooh, look at that fold up. You get a proper sense of size sitting in this thing. Ah, alright, so this looks as though it might be the Yeah. I'm busy manipulating the sh directional shield uh, ship shielding here so I can on the fly as we're busy flying around um, move around the sh uh, shield segments to send more shield power to where the ship needs it which is really cool Let's switch off the station Enough mucking about yet. Yeah, I want to go sit down. See what this thing feels like to fly. Into the central chair. I can probably call myself a captain sitting in this thing. Ah! Is, uh, someone was trying to nudge me off the landing pad here. Naughty chap. It's okay. We'll forgive him for that. Alright. Ah, and I'm getting some nice dramatic arena commander music to go along with my takeoff. This is what it feels like to fly constellation. Wow. Let's have a look around the view from here. Surprisingly good, I have to say. You really get a proper sense of size and power sitting inside this seat. Let's just do a quick. I'm um, just going to slow down here and do a quick external view. Zoom out a little. About as far as I can go and then see if I can give you an idea what this thing looks like. There we are. There's a lot of detail that's gone into this ship, I can tell you that. It's actually a miracle that uh, the entire game doesn't slow to a crawl when you fire one of these up. It used to, uh, before they did some optimization on the ship, so uh, it's apparently a lot better than it used to be. And it is just gorgeous. Damn, I can definitely uh, imagine doing some multi crew missions in one of these puppies. Exploring distant, uncharted space. You see, the main engines actually swivel a little bit to aid with maneuverability. So, uh, handles quite well for such a big ship quite surprised. I thought it would feel a lot more sluggish than this. But uh, she flies really nicely. It's oh, just listen to that growl. That sounds threatening. Alright, so uh, with that I think that about concludes my overview of all of the current flyable ships in Star Citizen, well most of them anyway, as I mentioned there's a few that I haven't tried but um, I think you get the idea so no matter what your chosen profession is or what you prefer to do whether it's uh, being a fighter pilot or a bounty hunter or a smuggler or a pirate or just a basic uh, cargo runner going about his everyday business there will be a ship to suit your needs. 
So until next time, this is the Whiplash signing off.